Chela, Athena Roladas, Swamnushi. Hello, I'm Athena Roladas. Come on in. This is the lobby in the Vernier Science Center. Right here, we're looking at uh, the way that we envisioned different themes on the different floors and how it might be helpful for people to navigate throughout the building. For the different floors and their different ecoregions, we have for the basement, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth level. And as you arrive to each of the floors, you're going to be greeted with the symbol here so then you know where you are, kind of eases that anxiety when you might be coming for the first time. One of the things that came out of the action-oriented guide that I was a part of helping to create was the sense of belonging to say, I feel like I belong here and that I can also take care of myself here. Now we're on the second floor, which has our iTech program, which is Indigenous Traditional Ecological and Cultural Knowledge. And right here we're in the iTech classroom that is a kitchen as well. And this kitchen was made to be able to share globally to other Indigenous communities. So there's a lot of high-tech capabilities in here. And then there's a really nice area for tea making and just taking care of oneself in this corner. And then it connects to a larger gathering classroom back here. And this classroom is really incredible because as you see on the ceiling, it highlights the four directions. We wanted to be able to orient ourselves to place and to be able to really understand uh, your sense of where you are in the direction of the world for the four corners, north, south, east, and west. And this classroom is also made so that it can be arranged in a circle or in the traditional Western way of facing forward. An indigenous value that um, a lot of us stand by is thinking about the seven generations ahead of us. Uh, this project is definitely one of those that I was trying to consider seven generations from now, how it would be for students to feel included, for everyone in the Portland area to feel included, to find this place here on campus as a home away from home. Um, and I hope that in the future, even now, that more institutions utilize BIPOC voices in their decision making and also especially in design um, and especially with STEM. Um, it's so important that we see ourselves reflected in our environments and that we actually can visualize our future uh, within these uh, institutions.